Mike Perlak here to laugh with you after working 12 hours again. I'm on a caffeine and vitamin B high. Well, more caffeine, truth be told. But I got energy to burn before I go to my awesome new home and sleep. <laughs> so, uh, I got to uh, look in the news more about it, but uh, Mike Pompeo is supposed to be uh, running uh, in the uh, Republican primaries, so I heard. Uh, that should be interesting. Uh, uh, Mike Pompeo and Trump on a panel. Uh, that should make for an interesting primary uh, debate. <laughs> if uh, having a charismatic uh, ego is a factor. I don't see Mike Pompeo uh, beating Trump for the nomination. Uh, maybe vice president. <laughs> Ron DeSensio should probably just stay in uh, Florida. He's doing good work over there. But uh, yeah, I am, uh, I, you know, I personally, I think uh, I would look forward to a Mike Pompeo uh, presidency. I, I like him. I think he's a straight shoot, shooting kind of guy. You know, he's a, I, uh, um, I, I'd be very curious curious to see what a Mike Pompeo administration would look like. Not because he has the same name and initials as me, but because I think he's a straight shooter. Right? He's a member of the American Center for Law and Justice, Jay Sekulow. And uh, the good thing about that is you get all the benefits of the Trump error policies without the, uh, you know, minus the celebrity BS that comes with Trump, but that's kind of the nature of the beast. But the numbers don't have, the, the numbers say that the GOP does not have the goods um, without Trump's base, which is only getting stronger and stronger since 2016. And if you hate Trump, well, you have one, one, one thing to blame for uh, Trump's uh, uh, base getting stronger and stronger. The current administration. Whether or not uh, a, uh, a Mike Pompeo presidency would be good or bad for the Patriot movement, your guess is as good as mine. But uh, Ron DeSantis should stick with where he's, he's, he's doing good things in Florida there. But did you see that video with him that <laughs> came out a while back? But uh, talking about where he kind of like sticks a questionnaire uh, and, uh, uh, legacy media person in their place. Yeah, I see a lot of California license plates in Florida. I bet if we go to uh, California, we're not going to see a lot of Florida license plates in Cali or as uh, Schwarzenegger would say, the California. By the way, where the hell is Schwarzenegger? <laughs> he told me, screw my freedoms, and then he disappeared. Does anybody know where he is? Did he go back to Austria? I mean, comment if you don't, below if you know. I mean, um, I, I know he was disappointed that his fellow Americans felt they had the same right to uh, uh, opportunities as, as him, as an elitist. And I guess he wasn't happy with that. <laughs> well, where is he? So I worked another 12-hour shift. Why? Because it's the only way I can afford to live in by Dunn's America. <laughs> and by the way, that Build Back Better plan, who is that benefiting? Because it's not benefiting the working class, not benefiting me. <laughs> Comment below if you're a member of the working class and you don't get any government kickbacks and handouts. Comment below. Is the Build Back Better plan helping you? <laughs> I'm just trying to survive <laughs> the uh, Biden, uh, the, the, the Biden inflation. There's a word for you. Biden inflation. Without having to suck from Big Daddy government's teeth. Boy, how do you like that guy, By Dunn? You know, gas price go up, and what does he say? Wasn't me. <laughs> like that song, it wasn't me. <laughs> Shaggy, wasn't me. <laughs> and then gas prices go down, and what, then what does he say? Look, Mommy, look what I did. <laughs> so who begs the question, who the hell is in charge, Joey? <laughs> You know, Ronald Reagan, Ronnie, he said something. He said, you know, I did not abandon the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party abandoned me. Damn straight they did. <laughs> they abandoned me, the legal working America, American. That's why I will never vote for a Democratic leader as long as I live. I'd like to see, I'd like to see a Mike Pompeo presidency. I really would, I don't, but I don't see it happening. Trump's becoming president in 2016 was a small part of a bigger and ongoing revolution. A revolution, and not just in this country, all over the world. Nationalism is back, baby. 
I uh, I didn't see it at the time. I voted for Hillary. I, I, did, I didn't see it at the time. But everything Trump said came true. You know, you give the Democrats power, you know, they'll, they'll raise your gas prices. What happened? They raised your gas prices. The Democrat give the Democrat Party's uh, blue state's power. What happens? Crime will dominate your country. What's happening right now? Crime is dominating our country. Not right away, but my eyes slowly were open to, to truth. And I saw, in many ways, for the first time, the bill of goods that was being forced down my throat by 30 years of Democratic Party policy. What did Trump say? They're not after me. They're after you. Yeah, you. We the people. As in we the people. I'm just in the way. Didn't, yep. I've been walking in the footsteps of society's lies. Yeah. You and me both, John Bon Jovi. <laughs> I found Keep the Faith on a brand new cassette tape wrapped up like new at the Goodwill recently. <laughs> yes, sir. You and me both, John Bon Jovi. There's also another song in here called Fear. Fear of a new thing. Fear of a brass ring. <laughs> and another song on the album called Blame It on the Love of Rock and Roll, where he says, it feels uh, so good it ought to be illegal. I get my vaccination from a phonographic needle. <laughs> That's clever songwriting. You know, they, they actually put effort into this stuff back then. <laughs> yeah, I was recalling, uh, you know, in the late 80s when CDs became, you know, started getting more and more popular, and then millions of tapes were recalled and cut. You ever, you know, you ever buy a secondhand tape and it's like, like, like it's been sawed a little piece of it on the edge or whatever. Yeah, they call. Yeah, it's been recalled and cut. And, and 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 with the rise of CDs, they were sent. These cassettes were recalled, cut, and sent to China to be recycled. But a lot of them were saved. Some people say, and that's how Chinese people discovered American music. I don't know if this is true or not, but it seems plausible. You know, a communist society wants to control everything that its citizens are exposed to. That's part of the nature of communism. And it, it, and it, it, it does kind of, you can see that happening. The CCP overlooking such a loophole. <laughs> For me, you know, I, I, this is just a, I have all this stuff on CD, and this is just a way for me to familiarize myself. You know, my time is limited. I have to work for a living. I familiarize myself with all this stuff, uh, you know, while I'm at work. And then I don't have to worry about, you know, more expensive equipment, my CDs being destroyed. You know, it's a win-win for me. <sighs> okay. I, 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 that's enough. I'll leave you with this thought I had today. It will never happen because men like youth and fertility. But if a woman wants to do good for herself, then she should strive to be the kind of woman that makes a man wish, wish he could only be attracted to and stimulated by her. Even as she grows old with the man she gave her youth and fertility to. Ladies, you have your mission. Now get to it. Mike Parallax, thank you for your time. <laughs>